when the artist made this, it took him 14 years to make. He made this with one year's wage of the entire city of Krakow. So you can imagine if we took one year's wage to the city of Chicago, what we could build with that money. Uh, and so he was so detailed and such a good artist that people today, physicians and doctors, can determine the skin disease that this gentleman had here just by the exposure of his leg. So he didn't miss anything when he, when he made this. So as I said before, the story beginning down here with Jesse and the stump, and the idea is that someone will fill that that, that throne of David, when David had died, nobody was there to, to reclaim that throne. And so we have here the image of the Blessed Mother, who is the mother of Jesus, the son of David. And the story continues with the apostles surrounding her and moves upwards to her assumption, where she meets Christ and continues up to the uh, coronation or the crowning of her by the Blessed Trinity. And so what we did with this piece is that we wanted, obviously, as you heard, this huge Polish population that built up this church. There's not a lot of Polish people here anymore. There's a few people, the original people still left their descendants and sort of commemorate that and still leave that marker. We wanted a little bit of home for them. So we hired an artist in Poland to be able to make a replica. So he was actually there while they were restoring the original. He was able to get up close and take pictures, real detailed images so that he can remake this piece. So it was assembled in Poland, disassembled, brought here and put together. And when he was... Um, here, we are like, well, where did you sign it so that we know we can point to the artist and show people who made it? He just kind of smiled and took his chisel, and he pointed down to this gentleman who is not in the original, but this gentleman with the mustache is the artist himself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a neat way to leave your mark on a piece of art and clutter with it. So, and then, too, just quickly, it's like a little tidbit, too, you'll see a lot of these characters on the outside, these little miniature uh, icons, and those were all nobles. Uh, patriarchs, noble families at that time who, uh, who actually lived during that, that late 14th or 15th century. So, very historical here, but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for coming. On your way out before you leave, there is uh, a couple sheets there with our music schedule, and in particular, I don't know if people talk to you about, but we have professional choirs and orchestras come here. Uh, very good, and I'm sure you all, all have heard of Mozart. Well, there's a, a company or a orchestra that's coming here that playing his Requiem Mass. So, uh, we created that piece, Mozart Requiem, that was made for a Requiem Mass, which we celebrate. So, you'll get to see that music in its actual environment where it was created. So, feel free, like I said, November 2nd, All Souls Day, and there's other.